Now a 12 News exclusive one-on-one -on -one with U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo. 12 News Politics Editor Ted Nisi went to Washington to get an inside look at the new life of Rhode Island's former governor and what she regrets most about her early departure. Ted joins us now with the exclusive interview. After nearly two years in Washington, Gina Raimondo has emerged as one of President Biden's most trusted cabinet secretaries. But she tells me Rhode Island is still never far from her mind. So there's the White House right there. Gina Raimondo has quite the view these days when she looks out her window at the U.S. Commerce Department. Often I'll be sitting in a meeting here and the Marine One will fly by. Oh, that's cool. Like literally right there. The former Rhode Island governor admits there are moments when the job feels surreal. Once in a while you sit there with the president, with <laughs> Secretary of Defense, on the eve of a war, you're like, wow. All of this is communications. As the nation's 40th Commerce Secretary, Raimondo's responsibilities range from overseeing the U.S. Census to keeping exports out of Russia. It's a huge job. Some days, I, like last week, I was in Mexico with the president talking to the Mexicans about how we can work together on supply chains. I was with the president in Japan talking about how we get closer together to combat the threats from China. But I also go to Cleveland and like talk about manufacturing jobs in Cleveland. Thank you for this chance to work for the American people. It was two years ago this winter that Joe Biden first announced Raimondo's appointment. She still had two years left on her second term as governor. When you realized you were in contention for the cabinet, did you know I'm going to take it no matter what? Or do you have any doubts during that period? I did have some doubts because it was COVID. You know, I was still running the state in COVID. We still had the emergency hospitals at the convention center set up. Biden's team already knew Raimondo well. I had gone through the vice presidential vetting process, so that, you know, I had been Which talking. is very, very rigorous yeah, by that's all accounts. Not, I don't recommend that for anyone. <laughs> that is not a fun experience. But the moment for me that I knew I had to do it, uh, I was at my house on Morris Avenue, and talking to the president, and he said, I want you to come work with me and bring back American manufacturing. And like, that was it. I mean, but look, I have everything from Rhode Island. Raimondo's fifth floor office is filled with mementos from her time as governor. She cites an improved economy as the biggest accomplishment of her six year tenure. As for her biggest regret. I regret leaving before I could make a big impact on Providence schools. Mm. You know, I made a bold move with the state intervention and I, I wish that I had had the time to see it through because it's tough and I feel for those kids. So we're, we're sitting in Washington talking about the problem schools. That's still in your mind as yeah, one of the most mind. important tasks in the state? Without question, without question. I still believe as goes Providence, goes the state. If I were still governor, you know, if I had had the rest of my term, I would have put a ton of time and energy into making those schools better. Raimondo's time in the cabinet has spurred speculation about her political future. Coming up at 6, I ask whether she'd ever consider running for U.S. Senate or even for president. In Washington, Ted Nisi, 12 News. Now more of our 12 News exclusive. One-on-one -on -one with U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo. 12 News Politics Editor Ted Nisi sat down with Rhode Island's former governor at her office in Washington to discuss her top priorities. Ted also pressed Raimondo about whether she's weighing a run for the White House. He joins us now with the exclusive interview. No Rhode Islander has ever been elected president of the United States, but some Washington pundits think Raimondo might try to become the first. This is my swearing in, Jack Reed. Gina Raimondo has had a rapid rise in Washington since she left Rhode Island two years ago, earning bipartisan praise for her work as the nation's 40th Commerce Secretary. And uh, I want to thank Secretary Raimondo. Her biggest win so far, convincing Congress to pass the CHIPS Act, which President Biden signed in August. The law tasks Raimondo with doling out roughly $52 billion to increase semiconductor production in the U.S. I had a sense of some of the things you might work on when you were leaving Rhode Island for this job, but I did not realize how much semiconductors would be central to what you do. COVID opened our eyes to how vulnerable supply chains were. I'm sure there are thousands of Rhode Islanders who during COVID couldn't buy a car or paid a lot for a car, couldn't get a washing machine delivered on time or dryer delivered on time. It's because of chips. There were no chip, lack of chips. You can't be a strong country and buy 90% of these chips from Taiwan. You have to make enough in America. The reality is... The White House's confidence in Raimondo has caught the attention of national news outlets. Are you confident that the votes are actually there? 
to get this passed. Yes, I am. She's appeared on Sunday morning shows like Face the Nation and earned profiles in the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal. Not everyone is happy with Raimondo's approach. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren has suggested she's too close to corporate executives, while famed conservative columnist George F. Will argues she's too open to government intervention in the economy. Yet even Will described Raimondo as, quote, the Democrat most qualified to be president. Could you see yourself running for president down the line? Uh, I don't know. I am really, really totally Not a no. Not a no, but not a yes either. I mean, A, the president's amazing. I love working for him. He's going to run, and I'm excited to help him get reelected. As for me, I have a lot of work to do. One other political future question. People still look back and they say, will she move back to Rhode Island and run for United States Senate? No, that I can say no to. That's what I've always said my understanding was. Just explain briefly why. Because people think you will. Yeah. It comes up still all the time. It's not, I'm not a legislator. Uh, we have uh, two amazing senators who are great legislators. That's not who I am. You know, I like to run things. I like to put a team together, run things, get things done. I enjoy that. So I'll leave legislating to them. And our full extended interview with Secretary Raimondo will air this weekend on a special edition of Newsmakers. Reporting from Washington, Ted Nisi, 12 News.